Hey, what up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Some of you requested a boat tour. So that's what today's video is. It is a boat tour. This is my 2017 17 and a half foot low stinger 175. Um, so let's go through it. All right, so up on the bow, I got a Minn Kota Edge trolling motor, 45 foot pound trolling motor. Um, certainly not the strongest, but it gets the job done. My electronics up here, I have a Lowrance hook series. Uh, it's the hook seven, so hook being the series, seven being the size screen, seven inch screen. Uh, it has uh, down imaging on it, and of course mapping and, and regular sonar, but, but down imaging is the big thing on that. Um, this random little bag right here is what I keep that stuff in, so that's normally in the house. You wouldn't normally see that here. Recessed foot plate for the trolling motor, so it's not up here getting in the way. Um, so hole there, hole here, hole here. Those are for different seating positions. You can put the seats. Here's just the, imagine the seat being on there, but jam a seat there, there, or there. And uh, it's perfect for pulling up on some cypress trees and, and crappie fishing or something like that. So, so let's go to, to compartments. So this compartment right here is just a really big storage compartment. It actually goes all the way up to the bow. Uh, it's where I keep spare life jackets and throw cushions. Um, sometimes I'll put tackle in there, but since I normally keep my tackle in the garage, so if it's gonna have tackle in it, it's stuff that I load out prior to going fishing. I also have this little light switch. I have a little light switch. This is a removable light, LED. Use it to light anything up if I'm night fishing or whatever like that, I can use it. And then it just Velcros back on. That's where I keep that. Right here, I left it stock so you can see how it comes stock. So this is a 24 or 25 gallon live well. It's actually a really, really big live well. It's not very deep, it's only a foot or so deep, but it goes really far. I mean, you can take the minnow bucket out and this thing goes from basically right here all the way across. It's a good three and a half to four feet long. Uh, it's really, really big live well, but it comes with two minnow buckets, this one right here, and then there's a matching live well in the uh, rear of the boat. And so that's for that. If you wanted to do some crappie fishing or, or whatever, you got minnow buckets that you keep alive with your live well. Um, so let's go over here to rod storage. I don't use my rod storage locker for rod storage, but here's your rod locker. Inside, again, keeping this stock so you can see, this is the buckets. Here are the buckets that go with those, those uh, crappie, um, or the, uh, the bait bucket, you know, because that part that was inside the live well will drain all the water, so you actually, you know, take this part in the store with you. I also have an ore paddle because I've been out in this thing and I've got stuck on stumps and uh, you know like you're using the trolling motor and you get high centered on a stump that you didn't see and trying to rock and get off the stump is uh, pretty frustrating so I went and, and bought an oar I mean it still has the sticker on it way back there in the back I've yet to use this thing but getting stuck made me go get an oar um, I also have a net and my large measuring stick and then in the buckets I also keep uh, an extra pair of pliers a scale, a rag, trauma shears, and that's about it. So those stay in there. And you know, sometimes, oh, and the lights, the, the bow light and the anchor light are up here also. Um, sometimes I'll pull those out and put those someplace else, but that's where they stay most of the time. All right, now cockpit. Underneath the passenger seat, you have storage there. I don't keep anything there, but if I wanted to, I could. There's storage there. Goes from this all the way over. Underneath the driver's seat, storage again. This is where I keep my fire extinguisher and my registration. They're in the little compartment underneath there. Electronics up here. 
So this is also a Lowrance hook, but this is the newest generation. It's called the Hook 2. Also a 7 inch screen, but this is a triple shot. So I have regular sonar and mapping and all that fun stuff. And down imaging like I do on the bow, but I also have side imaging back here. And it's also on a ram mount, so you can move this any direction you want. So the co-angler sitting back here in the back has a screen that they can look at with down and side imaging also. Transducer for this is mounted back here on uh, next to the engine. Um, padded steering wheel. This this Lawrence unit came with the uh, came with the boat. I left it here, but I unwired everything. I didn't cut any wires. I actually went in there and unwired it all, so that if and when I sell the boat, I can reinstall everything factory new again. And um, I don't have a big gaping hole here in the steering wheel or in the in the dash. So that's the reason why I went with that mounted there instead of right here. Uh, cup holder there next to the driver's side. Cup holder right here for the passenger. And then the passenger has that same 25 gallon live well that I have up on the bow. So there's, there's one back here in the back. Like I said, it's identical. It has the minnow bucket just like the one on the bow. And then these are supposed to be little coolers. That's not what I use it for. I use it for tackle storage most of the time. Uh, I, I have it set a certain way, and this isn't, this isn't fully loaded right now. I have stuff in my tournament bag right now. So, um, But I have my worm gear here, my crankbaits here, my top water there. So from sitting here in this position, closest to your feet, you know, the feet are on the bottom of your body. So bottom, middle, top, and that's just how I remember. So if I... If, if I have this loaded out and my dad's sitting here in the back and I want a topwater bait, I can tell him to open the compartment and grab a topwater. He knows where my topwater boxes are. Same thing on the other side, except for now I have it with um, regular like crappie jigs and stuff like that. And then some soft plastics in the middle that's underneath that, that uh, hand towel and then my frock box. All right, let's climb down real quick. All right, down here, um, battery box, there's dual batteries and, a, and an onboard charging system underneath this, uh, along with the 19 gallon gas tank is right there. And then the motor is a 60 horse Mercury four stroke. It's, uh, it's not a, a big engine, but I don't need a big engine. It's a small boat. Um, I think this thing maxes out at a 75 horse, so having a 60 is more than enough. I can get up and do do 30 or 35, no problem. So, um, and then what's underneath the cowling? If I can take the cowling off, here we go. There's the engine, pristine condition, a little dirty on the outside right now, but it's because it rained. So let's put the cowling back on. All right, cowling's mounted. The last thing I have is lighting, and that requires it to be dark, so that's why I filmed some of this last night, and I'll put that in right here. About it. The last thing is probably one of the coolest, and that is interior and exterior lighting. So let's hit the accessory switch. All right, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll have to film this again tonight right there and right there those blue LEDs really light up the deck so you can see where you're walking or stepping or whatever when it's dark and then coastal night lights um, those also light up the water quite a bit those LEDs are super bright 
so tonight I'll come back here and I'll turn the lights back on when it's dark and you guys can see how bright this is. Should be able to see me now. It gives you just enough light. Cast just enough light out here. That That's it guys. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button it's right down there. It looks like me holding the fish. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. What is your favorite thing about this boat? With that said guys, again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, get out on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.